Hey y'all, welcome to another day in the life with me. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for watching. I am a new content creator that do mom vlogs, family vlogs, cooking, cleaning, organizing, and just a day in the life. If you do see me stroll by, I'm a queen. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Please follow all my social media platform. Thank you. I took Sky to McDonald upon her request and I spent $17 and she did not eat her food. I didn't even want to get mad because I'm like, girl, I could have stayed home, fry you an egg, some bread, but she has not been feeling her best. She's just not getting over her cold. So I've been just giving her anything that she requested so i had to end up eating her sandwich i did leave mcdonald's and went to burlington to get some organizer and some kitchen stuff for my home and then the organizer is for my aunts because i will be organizing and redoing her pantry i bought these tubblewares and amazon they do come with some um, stickers just for labels and this is my aunt pantry the first the first thing I did was just to cover the, the, the shelf that I could reach so I started there and then I start taking out everything else as I take down everything I did went ahead and um, you know clean it down wipe it down sanitize and everything now my aunt has food in there that expired from 2013 me and taylor decided we're going to go through everything in the pantry and check the expiration date because we are getting rid of everything that has been expired or is going to expire pretty soon like you know this september or august even though i know some people use expire stuff like if it expire this month they will still use it or whatever but i just got rid of everything because most of the shelves that she can reach is where all the stuff that she really use on a day to day. And then the other shelf, like the top shelf that's out of her reach, I think she maybe don't pay any mind. So all of that stuff was just sitting there and just expired. We had bags and bags and bags and bags of food all of this is stuff that has expired so i bag them up um it's a lot of canned stuff it's a lot of um a lot of stuff that she had in there that was expired again she doesn't really mess with the other shelves other than the ones that henna reads so she don't really pay attention so we got rid of all of them me and Taylor was wondering how are we going to get all these bags to the trash because the trash is in the alley. And Taylor came up with the idea to use the wheelbarrow, which was smart because most of those bags are very heavy because they have canned stuff and a lot of stuff that is not even open or used in there. So they're heavy. So I told Taylor, I will pull it because I have a little bit of you know more strength that's a little bit stronger so i will pull it just hold it and make sure the bag doesn't fall off and we had two trips we had to take two trips because we had some other boxes and some other stuff that we had to get rid of so then taylor um took it out there and then you know we just throw it in the garbage that's out there in the alley after that we came back in and we you know get ready to finish just finishing up organizing and there was a lot of space when we were done and thanks so much to taylor for helping because this was really a task and with her helping it went by a little bit easier and smoother because while i was unpacking she was you know looking at the expiration date throwing out some stuff and then you know we do it teamwork okay D just to sum it up teamwork makes the dream work i say that all the time so everything looks very organized now and 
um i went ahead and i did her refrigerator which i have to go back and i'm gonna do her cupboards next i packed some juice in there for baby girl layla some water throw out some of the stuff also that expired in the refrigerator which she didn't have a lot of stuff in the refrigerator that's expired so i just organized a little bit and then um i left and i went to see my dad i went to my dad's house and i'm looking at my dad's yard and i'm like this man think he's still in jamaica this blue house right here my daddy built that in the back of his yard because when he bought this house this was not back there he built it and painted it and he just it, it just reminds me of when we were in Jamaica and how, you know, how our lifestyle was. And, like, I lived in a house look similar to this, like, board house. I was a board house girl, which, you know, everything was outside our kitchen, our bathroom. Like, you know, just, just, it just brings me back. Like, you know. When I lived in Jamaica, those were some of the happiest days of my life. Like, anyways, I'm dwelling. <laughs> and my dad made some soup, um, some chicken soup. And I decided I was going to drink some. Listen, it is 150 degrees outside. But nothing can stop me from drinking soup. I am a soup gal. Whether it's hot, whether it's cold, I'm a soup person. My dad also made some fruit some watermelon and some pineapples i don't know what's going on but my daddy is doing the most something i he cooking up something that i have no idea because my dad is in a good mood he's making chicken he made soup he has fruits he must be having a, he must be having a damn party over there anyways this is my brother wayne and he came and he was standing there i just brushed him on his shoulder and the boy squeezed my finger so hard to where it left a dent in my finger and he had a straight face like doing it he's like why did you hit me <laughs> why did you hit me and i was like Gege, i barely hit you i barely hit you why did you have to squeeze my finger so hard i couldn't even turn my phone around to show you guys my finger because my shit was literally hurting okay anyways after that me and my dad was having a conversation about him cooking because he was steaming some cabbage and he was cutting up some carrots and i was just telling him oh daddy why don't you cut the carrots this way and that way and he goes this is not you cooking this is me cooking and this is how i want to cut my carrot i said it's okay that's why i'm a better cook than you my dad is a really good cook, but I like to mess with him and tell him I'm a better cook than him and it gets under his skin so bad, which I am a better cook than him. But, you know, you know, you know, but, you know, I like to get under his skin and bother him. So he was telling me, oh, who teach you how to cook? Who this? Who that? Da, 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 da. Anyways, it was a good time with my dad because when he's in a good mood, like we get along great. And me and my brother and my daughter decided we're gonna go ahead and shoot some hoops and i'm not a basketball player i just wanted to shoot some hoops i remember when i was younger i used to play netball in jamaica and that was my favorite sport and probably still is my favorite sports besides maybe track and field but i ran track and i was a netball player and i really enjoyed it so i wanted sky to shoot hoops so i picked her up and told her to try to shoot it and she threw the ball away i don't know why she did that anyways today was um a full day and it was a good day and i'm very exhausted um i got home i took a shower and went straight to bed thanks for watching